Hello, good morning to everybody and welcome to our second commercial webinar. I am Stefano Corradi of Laumas Electronica uh, and part of the sales department. And today I'm going to introduce you our webinar. Uh, the webinar will be about our new uh, product LCB, uh, the, the, the load cell digitizer. And uh, um, it will be held by my colleague Cristiano Campanini uh, from the sales department too. Uh, and just introducing you some rules of our webinar. Uh, during the whole webinar, uh, the, uh, your, your camera and your microphone will be disabled in order to not disturb the, the webinar. And the only way to interact with us is um, the, the chat that you can find on your left. Uh, you can make questions also during all the whole presentation, then uh, I will take the notes and uh, my colleague Cristiano will answer to, to you at the end of the, of the webinar. The webinar will be structured uh, with a, um, it will take about 30, 35 minutes and then at the end of the presentation we will have the uh, question time. So don't worry, you can make questions at any time, we will answer to them at the end. Um, this webinar will be uh, recorded, so uh, for uh, everybody and uh, who do, cannot be here today, uh, you, you can find the webinar to, on our website in the dedicated uh, page within one week, ten days. Um, I would like also to remember to you that next week, the 16th of May, we will have the technical webinar about uh, the LCB. Uh, it will be very important uh, for all of you and also for uh, all the, your technical department because we will uh, explain how to um, to set the parameter, how to connect the, the LCB to the load cells, and many, many interesting things, uh, technical interesting things. Um, okay, um, up to now, uh, I think it's all what I can do, and I will give the, the word to my colleague Cristiano that uh, will introduce you our new product, LCB. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thank you for uh, giving uh, some of your time uh, this morning. Um, for those of you uh, that don't know me, my name is Cristiano Campanini. I've been working in Laumas uh, since uh, 2015 as a member of the sales department, uh, where I mainly deal with uh, foreign markets. Today's webinar, as you know, is dedicated to the presentation of the newborn in Laumas range of products, the digitizer for load cell signal, uh, the so-called LCB. So, uh, what first of all, uh, today we are going to watch a short introductory video followed by a description of the general characteristics of the device and we will have a quick glance uh, to the software manager, uh, some examples about applications and at the end, as Stefano has already informed you, uh, we will have a question time where we'll be, uh, we will be answering uh, uh, the questions you have made during the presentation or after. Uh, I also remind you again that next week on uh, May 16th we will host a technical webinar for specifically technical topics. Uh, that will be held by my colleagues from the R&D department uh, who will focus more on um, connection and wiring to the load cell uh, configuration uh, with some examples of calibrations and um, parameter saving and uh, management of the device through uh, field bus. Now, uh, I think it's time to start with the introductory video. Uh, while watching, please don't pause, uh, fast forward or turn back so that all participants uh, start and finish at the same time and also uh, to avoid mismatches between sound and video. Uh, I remind you that we have an email that you can use in case you have like, technical problems, the email, the address, is webinar at laumas.it. 
So uh, let's start the video and we will uh, talk uh, about uh, the LCB later. LCB series was conceived with an eye on IoT in view of the digital transformation, according to the industry 4.0. Based on this approach, sensors must be able to exchange and communicate as much information as possible in order to keep plants and machines under control, improving their efficiency and productivity. The LCB digitizer can also be used on existing analog load cells with mini-volt, volt output, transforming the analog weighing system into a modern digital weighing system designed to implement the IoT Industry 4.0 functions. The assembly of the component takes place in such a way as to be completely joined with the load cell body. At the end of the installation, the system looks like a real digital cell with integrated field bus. It is compatible with any kind of load cell or strain gauge sensor already present on the market with standard quarter gas connection. On request, specific adapters are provided for coupling to the various threads of the cell. It is able to interface with any PLC model through appropriate waterproof connectors with input-output function. It has been designed to be typically applied in weighing stations that employ only one load cell. Thanks to the new IP67 waterproof box made of IEASY 316 stainless steel, LCB is suitable to be installed in any industrial environment, even aggressive. Micro USB port for an easy configuration of the digitizer via PC software. It is free from the action of potential electrical and electromagnetic interferences. It allows the free installation of the cell cable without particular requirements, eliminating any problem due to the distance between the load cell and the PLC acquisition system. Two digital inputs. Three outputs controlled by PLC via field bus. As we have seen during the video presentation, uh, the LCB is basically a converter for uh, load cells that transforms an analogic signal into a digital one. It um, can uh, also uh, be safely used for existing plants since it can receive the signal from load cells by any manufacturer and convert it into uh, standard protocols uh, that are compatible with all existing PLCs. Uh, Lauma's attitude uh, towards uh, digital load cells, because in fact, uh, this is what we are talking about. We are talking about digital load cells when we uh, match an RCB with an analog um, load cell. Uh, I was saying our uh, attitude uh, wants uh, to be free and allow 
our entire range of load cells to interface uh, with any PC and uh, PLC. Uh, in fact, as many of you know, uh, each PLC manufacturer has his own and preferred field bus, while the LCB makes the signal available uh, through any field bus, and you can see them listed in the, this current slide. Uh, and also, uh, <clears throat> as a serial in RS485, uh, and analogic, depending on the version of the LCB. Uh, always talking about the field buses, uh, we are uh, currently releasing, at first, the Ethernet-based versions, uh, such as uh, the Ethernet IP, uh, Profinet IO, Modbus TCP, Ethercat, PowerLink, and Circus. Uh, that are the most popular and required by the market and that will be available um, since July the 1st. Uh, other ones, such as CanOpen and IOLink, are being developed, uh, whereas a, a few other field buses uh, are still under evaluation, and the choice will depend on what will be the commercial demand. Uh, the nature of the LCB, uh, anyway, makes it ideal for uh, applications like uh, IoT and Industry 4.0. Uh, uh, these applications are uh, current tendencies of the industrial automation uh, to integrate physical and material technologies uh, with a network, with the network, to improve uh, the productivity of the plants and create what uh, is uh, the so-called smart factory. Uh, another important aspect uh, of this device, um, and that also introduces us to its properly material qualities that now we are also going to see, uh, is that it is conceived to be installed jointly to the load cells body. And so, um, sheltering the signal from possible uh, electric and electromagnetic disturbances that may interfere uh, with um, a classic a millivolt transmission. So now, uh, talking about uh, physical LCB, um, visually it comes as a very compact box, uh, also, if we are including the connectors, uh, and you can see the dimensions uh, described in this um, slide, um, the small dimensions are relevant uh, in case you want to use it joint to the body of the load cell. And this is um, the first uh, kind of application that we uh, thought about when we conceived the DLCB. Uh, always, always for the same reason, uh, it is made in stainless steel AISI 316 and has a protection degree IP67. Um, uh, this guarantees um, an excellent resistance to external agents uh, in case of installation in aggressive environments together with load cells. Uh, you can also see that it comes complete of six status LEDs uh, that are useful to verify the correct connection and operation of the digital inputs and outputs, uh, as well as possible errors that may occur. Uh, we also have a USB port that is protected by a cap. Uh, it's two connectors. Uh, one for bus in and one for bus out, um, specific for communication interface and related flying connectors with solder terminals. Uh, one connector uh, for service, uh, for power supply and connection of outputs and digital inputs, also complete of flying connectors with solder terminals. Uh, one input for uh, load cell. And uh, finally, uh, also two fixing holes uh, that can be used uh, in case of wall mounting uh, with the optional anchor plate 
that may uh, be uh, supplied with the um, LCB. As I was telling you before, uh, we uh, offer also a software manager um, that allows you to manage and configure the LCB from PC or alternatively, uh, you can also do it by serial protocol or film bus. Uh, but also these points will be discussed in, discussed in detail later. Concerning the certifications of this device, we are currently working to obtain uh, the OIML, OIML sorry, for systems homologated in relation uh, with third parties, the EAC for Russia, Belarus and Kazakhstan, and the UL for the Northern American market. They will be available uh, over in the coming months uh, and uh, unless bureaucratic obstacles that we cannot foresee within the end of the year. You uh, will be anyway informed about uh, by a newsletter or uh, information that will be posted in our website. So now, uh, talking about the programs, the LCB comes with two typical programs of the uh, LAUMAS instruments the base program and the load program. Um, the digitizers, setting and uh, programming procedures are the same as those of our transmitters, uh, series uh, TL, like TLB for those of you uh, that know the product, and um, also an indicator series W. Uh, the difference is that everything is managed by uh, the PC program, the LCB manager, that is provided along with the product, uh, mm -hmm. which will be uh, described later on. The base program has two uh, relays inputs and uh, two outputs, uh, which are free to set, and allows managing a maximum peak via field bus. This is uh, necessary for, uh, for example, uh, material test machines where you have to measure uh, breaking strength of the samples. Uh, on the other hand, the load program has been carried out to manage uh, gravimetric fields and uh, packing machines. It allows to register formulas to, autom to automatically calculate full time to manage uh, slow function and tapping functions, um, consumption memory, and uh, batching start via external contact or remotely via PMBAS. Let's now see in the detail uh, the LCB manager. Uh, that, are, as I was saying before, is uh, supplied along with the product. Uh, the connection takes place by a USB port uh, with micro connector and is accessible by opening uh, the protection cap on the side of the box of the SCB. When you don't need to use the port, uh, the cap can be closed and the box keeps, so it's protection degree IP67. The software um, will show on uh, the display of your PC uh, the interface of a LAUMAS instrument consisting of a seven segments display, um, signaling LEDs, and a keyboard, like it happens for, as I was saying before, uh, an indicator uh, of the series W, for example. In addition to uh, calibration, the software also allows you to download on your PC the settings of the connected LCB and save uh, these settings in a file, as well as to upload a configuration file from uh, your PC to the memory of the connected LCB. And this results to be uh, very useful in case you want to clone the parameters from an LCB to a new one. For example, when you are replacing 
uh, the old RCB with uh, a new one. It is also possible to update the firmware version uh, or restore all settings to their defaults. Now we, we are going to have a few slides uh, about uh, applications where the LCB can be successfully used, uh, even if, as I have previously said, it's an extremely uh, versatile product. It's not easy to identify some specific sectors and applications. Uh, in fact, theoretically, it could be used anytime you need to match one single load cell with a PLC or an HMI. Um, Anyway, we are going to propose you some uh, examples where we believe it's particularly suitable and that will also help you to uh, better understand the application. In this first example, we have a, a robot arm that has to weigh some items uh, while moving them from a line to another of the production line, production chain. The LCB uh, answers the necessities of this installation being provided of digital outputs, uh, including uh, all existing field buses, as uh, we have already seen. Uh, it is also provided of, a remote, of remote contacts and uh, uh, also having uh, small dimensions. So you, can, uh, you could uh, directly install it joint, jointly to the uh, body of the load cell that is used in this arm. Of course, if uh, necessary, you can also uh, install a distance. In this second example, we are showing you a test machine for uh, tires testing that has two uh, points of support, so it uses two load cells and uh, must measure the correct balancing of the wheel and also simulate the wear of the tire solicited in many different conditions. In this case, the two force measurement points are independent from each other, so each one uh, will use uh, its own uh, digitizer, and the plant uh, will obtain the data, uh, the plant must obtain the data of the two load cells and transmit them via profit IO, in this specific case, to a PLC that will handle the information. We now have a further example. Um, in this example, we have a filling machine for food industry that needs just uh, one sensor, um, one load cell and uh, is working with a PLC that is controlling the start and stop of the cycle to manage the filling of the product inside, inside the package. Uh, in this case, the LCB uh, perfectly suits all uh, the requirements of the, the installation, um, firstly because it consists of a digitizer uh, working for a single load cell that can be directly jointed to the load cell itself. Uh, it manages a load program, uh, so it also answers the requirements of uh, a loading system. And last but not least, it is provided with a box uh, made of uh, stainless steel that is suitable uh, for food industry, like in this case, where uh, cleanings uh, with water and detergents are uh, frequent. Another application where the LCB is particularly appropriate is a um, uh, weight line check. In this example, you can see a conveyor belt um, using, uh, also in this case, just one load cell and uh, on which uh, packages are moving. Uh, since it must be very quick because it's we suppose is a, a continuous weighing system, the package uh, passes on the load cell, the LCB uh, that is joined to the load cell, 
uh, will transmit continuously the weight value via field bus to the PLC. And uh, the PLC uh, will make the average, averages the values and verifies that the content of each package is correct. Um, the high transmission speed of the LCB, uh, 600 readings per second, and the high protection degree uh, also make it particularly well suited for this uh, example. We now have a, a last uh, example. Uh, this is a um, typical machine for uh, material testing, uh, like those used to verify rack points. Uh, also this time, we have one load cell, uh, but uh, two ways, bidirectional, as the machine can work in traction and in compression. The LCB connected to the load cell manages the maximum peak and transmits the highest force value to a PC that stops the test uh, when the breakpoint is achieved and stores the value. At the end, if we um, want to uh, summarize the main advantages uh, that should push towards, towards the choice for LCB and um, so the advantages of the LCB and uh, of the LCB manager, uh, we can uh, list the following points. So the extreme versatility as it can communicate with all uh, existing PLCs on the market uh, thanks to the wide range of field analysis that are or that will be soon available and um, as it can match with uh, any analog load cell by any manufacturer. Um, Another point are the small dimensions that are allowing installation directly joined to the load cells body in um, many cases, many applications. The uh, direct connection to a uh, USB port for configuration without the use of any uh, converter uh, RS485 uh, USB. Um, also, it reduces uh, the electric and electromagnetic disturbances if the LCB uh, is installed in proximity, if not directly joined to the load cell. Uh, and also, obviously, if we are using um, an LCB in a, with a digital signal version. And finally, um, the manager for the LCB uh, allows you uh, to uh, a complete remote management via PC software. Um, we are talking about configuration, backup, and uh, storage of data, as well as firmware update. Okay, my presentation is now finished. Uh, I remind you that um, you will be able to check the release of the new versions of the LCB uh, by visiting our website, uh, laumas.com, and that you can always uh, find the dates of upcoming webinars also on our website. Mm, as we have already told you, uh, my colleagues from research and department uh, from Research and Development Department. We hold the LCB Technical Webinar next week. Uh, if you are interested, uh, register in our website in order to take part in the event. Uh, at the moment, for now, I thank you for your interest and uh, Stefano will now join us for uh, the question time. Okay, thank you very much, Cristiano, for your presentation. Uh, we hope that it has been interesting for you and uh, uh, that will, uh, okay, <clears throat> help you to find some question and answer uh, regarding our new LCB, our new product, the, the, the load cell digitizer. And yes, again, uh, within, now we are waiting some questions. I would like to remind you that next week we'll have the technical uh, webinar about the LCB. 
and the 16th of May. And in the same uh, page of the, our website, you can find also our, our old webinar. We, we already uh, made two webinars, one commercial and one technical, uh, regarding our uh, multi-channel transmitter. So you can see in those webinar uh, our TLMA, TLB4, so all our multi-channel transmitter range, both commercial and technical, to how to set them, to use them. Um, I would like to remind you also that at the end of the webinar, you will get an email from us uh, with a question, uh, with some question regarding the webinar, so you can help us to uh, understand what goes good, what goes wrong, and to where to improve our webinars, because it's really important for us. Um, yeah, what about the LCB? We, we as Laumas and also uh, our management uh, strongly believe in this new product because we think that it will be, uh, as Cristiano said before, a very versatile product that uh, comparing to standard digital load cell, uh, it will be cheaper for sure and so it will help you and your customer uh, to find a, a cheaper solution with the same advantages of the digital load cell. So let's see if we have some question. Some of you are typing. Here it is, the first question, Cristiano. So Mr. Peter Gray Watts is asking uh, if do, you, do do if we provide the LCB already connected to the load cell, so of course to our load cell, or uh, it's an operation that our customer has to do on their own. Okay, thank you um, for the question. Um, both possibilities exist. Um, if you um, are, if you need to buy uh, our load cell and you uh, will match it with the LCB, uh, you can um, ask for um, the connection. You can ask uh, to receive. Uh, the LCB already already um, connected to the load cell, uh, but um, this you have to specifically ask because as standard we will not um, sell it uh, connected uh, because you may uh, buy in the same order uh, the LCB and the load cell for two different applications. So we uh, suggest you to specify in case you want them. Uh, to receive them uh, connected already. Um, uh, yes, uh, so both possibilities exist. Obviously, we are always talking about our load cells. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cristiano. <clears throat> uh, okay, we have some other uh, question from, we have, okay, Mr. Frank. Is asking if it is available we also with an ATEX approved version of our LCB. Okay, thank you, Frank, for your question. Um, the this current version of the LCB uh, the, that uses a stainless steel enclosure um, will not have an ATEX uh, approval uh, for technical reasons. We are. Um, planning, uh, we are working on another version, uh, it will be uh, a plastic version, and I have seen that uh, someone has already asked something about this, uh, so I will answer both questions in once. Um, we are working on another version with um, a plastic enclosure, and this plastic enclosure uh, will probably also have uh, the approval for uh, ATEX, we are uh, still developing, so I cannot say, I cannot tell you anything 100% sure, but uh, we are uh, quite confident it will be possible. Uh, the reason for which we um, firstly uh, came out with the stainless steel version is that, um, as we have seen during the presentation, the stainless steel uh, version is uh, has the widest range of applications uh, because obviously it's uh, uh, the physical resistance, uh, resistance of the enclosure. Um, so we wanted first to 
uh, propose to the market the stainless steel version, and then we will uh, come out with the uh, plastic enclosure and hopefully also with the um, ATEX uh, approval. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cristiano. Uh, okay, we got other uh, inquire, uh, questions. Okay, you already answered to Mr. Uh, Jurgen. So, yes, we are thinking about also uh, ABS plastic uh, LCD. We will see in the future. And Mr. Gregoz is asking Cristiano if, uh, as we told that our LCD has a quarter, grass, uh, quarter gas connector, if they, they have existing loads with different connectors, if this is possible also uh, to have some solution. Uh, yes, um, our standard for load cell is uh, quarter uh, gas, so this is also our uh, standard for uh, the LCD, but actually if you have some specific requirements, um, you uh, can uh, let us know in the moment that you are um, sending the order for the LCD or talking to uh, your uh, RSS manager, and uh, we will be also um, providing uh, different uh, adapters uh, depending on uh, your uh, needs. Uh, obviously, uh, this is possible when uh, the load cell uh, is using a um, cable gland. If the load cell doesn't have a cable gland uh, itself, it, this is not, it will not be possible to uh, join uh, directly uh, the LCB to uh, the load cell. In this case, um, one of the solutions could be the wall mounting um, that, as it was described during the presentation, it is also possible. We will um, offer uh, an anchor plate uh, specifically for wall mounting uh, if required. Okay. So the next question, Cristiano, is from Mr. Christensen that is that is asking if when he buys the Alocel and LCB, we can supply them mm, already calibrated, or uh, they have to make the calibration on the side. Uh, thank you, uh, Christensen, for your question. Um, at the moment we um, can uh, make the theoretical calibration. Uh, what we suggest actually is um, always to uh, make also a real calibration with um, um, uh, sample weights uh, when you are making installation on the plant. Um, in the future, but we still have no uh, dates for this. Uh, we will have uh, inside our company a uh, laboratory that will allow us to supply, to uh, sell um, the system already calibrated with um, specific uh, test machines. We don't have a specific date for this, but it will uh, also come in the future. Thank you, Cristiano. <clears throat> yes, it will be, uh, we hope, very soon because uh, as some of you are uh, implementing our buildings here in, uh, in Laumas in Parma, we are just uh, uh, doubling our, our headquarters, so it will be soon available, the, the laboratory, and so we hope it will be available also the real calibration soon. Okay, we still have some Give some ten, maybe around ten minutes. If there are other questions or uh, you need other more information about our new LCB, uh, okay. Someone is typing. Uh, you're welcome, Mr. Christensen. Uh, yeah, just in maybe we still we are waiting some question. I would like to remind you the the, the, the new webinar next week the technical ones, and also if you lost the, the older webinar about TLB 
multi-channel transmitter, you can find them, you can find them in our uh, website at the dedicated pages. Uh, what about Cristiano again, the LCB? Uh, it's a very versatile product. It can be okay. Here it is the question. Mr. Frank, he ask, he's asking if is it possible to make the theoretical calibration on the device? Yes, yes. We already told, we already said before uh, that we can make the theoretical calibration. Uh, also, you can ask him for that when you buy the LCB together a uh, lot. So. And another question is from Mr. Groivotsi, if asking if we expect that can open version will be available in the early fall, uh, Cristiano. So when when will be available? They can open. Uh, so, uh, talking about the can open, um, it will be uh, probably the first, uh, it will be uh, included in, probably in the second release. So, as I was as I told before, we are having the first release on July the 1st uh, with all LCBs with um, Ethernet base. Uh, the second release uh, will follow after hopefully a few weeks, I think. Um, within late summer, but we, um, we will keep you informed about, and with it, will, it will include uh, the can open version and uh, the um, also analog and RS485 version. Uh, all uh, other ones like uh, IOLink will follow uh, in a probably third release. Um, and then uh, others also will uh, will come. Mm, we uh, don't have at the moment specific dates for the um, for these release releases. Uh, what we suggest you to do is to uh, check our website that is always updated with the latest news. Um, also, the data sheets that you can uh, check and download are always updated. So, for example, if you're going, uh, if you're checking now our um, uh, information about LCB in our website, you will see uh, only for the Ethernet based version. Uh, the other ones will be added in the future, in the next weeks. And um, we will also. Um, Maybe send uh, newsletters about it. Anyway, uh, if you uh, miss it, our website is always updated. Thank you, Cristiano. <clears throat> Thank you, Cristiano. And uh, um, okay, just to, to say again, the LCB. Uh, it's mainly uh, for application where with with a single load cell, uh, but it can be used in any in any really in any sector from the chemical ones to the food industry to uh, test machines. So uh, as you saw, it's a product that you can sell, you can present to the market in any in any different sector. Uh, of course, uh, if can be useful for you. Uh, you will find this webinar next week or within 10 days on our website, but also we can forward you uh, the video, the presentation video that you saw on the, in this presentation at the beginning uh, that you can show to your customer. Uh, I think it, it's, it's very easy using that to explain how, what, what the LCD is and how it works. Uh, so don't worry to, to to send us inquiries or also after the presentation if you if you have other uh, question you can send us uh, email about the LCB to our sales at laumas.it or also to our personal emails. Uh, we got another question, Cristiano. Uh, Mr. Grivotz is asking uh, what? Okay, <laughs> what about the price? That you know, it's the always the the, the, the main uh, important things. And uh, uh, also, okay, what, what, which is the the price? The price of the LCD? 
Okay, yes, in fact, we haven't, we hadn't talked about the price yet, but um, it was easy to understand. Uh, it would have been interesting for you. Uh, so, uh, as probably uh, some of you have um, uh, already noticed uh, in our website, uh, you can already find uh, the prices uh, for the Ethernet based versions. Um, we are talking about about 500 uh, euros for price. Um, prices for uh, future versions, um, we still don't have a price list for these versions. Uh, probably uh, most of them will be um, lower. I can tell you anything else uh, about it at the moment because we, as I was uh, saying before, we're still working on it, we're still um, working on the product, so it's early to come out with a price for also the future versions, but um, you will always be allowed to check on our website and uh, uh, probably it will be uh, lower than the current uh, Ethernet base versions. Thank you, Christian, for the answer. Um, we got another question from Mr. Bazep uh, that is asking if, uh, for example, for the system like the conveyor belt, we have our own uh, software already developed or it is all up to the, the customer to develop it? Thank you um, for the question. Uh, no, actually we, uh, as Launas, uh, we produce and supply uh, just the components for waiting systems. Um, so um, we uh, can support uh, our customers uh, to choose uh, the best product for a specific application. Um, we can supply technical assistance if necessary, um, but uh, then um, we, we, we also we can have for software development, but we stop, we cannot go um, uh, further. Uh, we don't have um, we don't produce uh, complete with systems like uh, conveyors um, and so we don't have drawing and specifications for conveyors. We can help you to understand which product to use in a specific conveyor if you, uh, if you ask. Okay, uh, hope that we have been clear, Mr. Bazep, or if you need more um, specific information, just ask, no problem. Uh, because as Cristiano said, yeah, we produce components, but we have many years of experience in many different sectors, so we, we can help you to select the right product and also we can help you how to do the, the, the system. Not for all the application, but we have many, many years of experience on weighing, so we can help. Okay, uh, Christian, I think that we, we are at the end of our webinar. Uh, if there are no more questions, I would like to thank you for your time. Thank you for attending our webinars. And uh, rem just remember that and you will get the, the uh, questionnaire at the end of this webinar and uh, please ask to him and uh, answer to him and send it back to us so we can improve our webinars, our future webinars. So thank you again and have a good day. Thank you also from my side. Uh, thank you for um, your attention and I hope uh, this presentation was useful. So see you at next uh, webinar.